everyone, my name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch my video. If you wanna see more from me, then let's get started. All right, so my hair is crazy right now. I just undid my braids that I've had in for, my hair is definitely dirty, so it's definitely wash day, but of course I'm gonna go out and run some errands. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys how I do my puffs. Um, a lot, I got a lot of questions on my last, um, I posted a photo on Instagram using uh, the Miel Organics Edge Gel, and I got a lot of comments on my puff, and people wanted to see my puff video. Um, I used to do natural hair videos all the time, but I kind of slacked off and went into makeup. Um, but I want to kind of switch it up and keep it versatile um, for you guys on my channel. All right, so for today, I'm going to be using some products. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys overall what I'm going to be using as I use them. Usually when I do a puff, I don't like to have my hair super gelled. I know some people really do like that, but so I'm just going to, as you can see, I had a side part, but I'm going to try and get rid of that part. Do that. I have so much product in my hair, I can feel it. So overall, I think I'm going to be going for something like so. So what I'm going to do first is kind of, I'm going to lightly spritz my hair very, very lightly. This kind of just allows my hair to be molded up, but I don't want to lose my curl pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of my Blueberry Bisque Control Paste, and I'm just going to take that all around my hair. And I'm going to take very... Hopefully you guys can see that. Take very little because my hair already has a lot of product buildup. So I'm just going to like rub it all over my hands and this kind of gets a little bit of my hair going. I don't like the slick back then puff look from on me. I like it to look very textured so I usually just kind of leave my hair alone. I'm going to be using a headband. I usually break my headbands after so long, but I like to tie them and then reuse them. So I'm going to leave my headband around my neck because I want to get it prepped and ready to go right before I put on my hair. And some people like to use a brush. Um, I don't really brush my hair very often, but I'll go ahead and brush it just for the sake of the video so you guys can see how. And I use the soft bristle side. I'm just brushing my hair up. I don't care if it causes frizz because that means my poof will be even bigger. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to puff it up. And I've wrapped my headband around my neck. And then I'm going to set my hair. And I'm just going to move it slowly up. Okay. So that's pretty much the basis of it right now. As you can see, I have my headband right here, and then I have my headband in the back. You can use bobby pins if you want to keep it in place. I don't need to because this one's really tight, but you can use a bobby pin to like keep the sides like right here if you want. So I'll just leave it there so you guys can kind of see. Let me drop myself so you guys can kind of see more. Um, but yeah. So, right now you just kind of have a flat ponytail, but see how smooth it is? That's, I don't usually gel my hair because if your headband's tight enough, it kind of grabs all of your hair. And I don't really like that gel look because I like for it to look, again, really textured. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my pick and I'm just going to raise the middle. There's so many way, different ways to do a... Um, what's it called a puff there's so many videos but this is what I find works for me and it's super easy I don't like to I like to shape mine but I like to leave it long over the front so you can't see the headband and then I kind of like it high and then I take my fingers just to get rid of all of those parts that I had and I just push my hair up okay so I feel like that's really cute whoa see how that's sticking out right there I'll like tuck it in. Just so you guys can see the back. Hopefully everything's covered. Okay, so I like to have most of my hair to the front of my head. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my handy dandy toothbrush and I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, Myel Organics Edge Control Gel. 
I've had this for a little bit, but it's still going well. It smells so good. It smells like ginger ale, and I love ginger ale. Anytime I have edge control, I like to close it really tight right after I use it. So I took quite a bit, and I'm just going to like paint all my edges. And I'll probably have to go back in for more. This is just the first round. Okay, so I have to go back in for a little bit more. I don't usually do my kitchen, to be honest. I kind of leave that kind of um, naturally wild and free as well. I'm just not a big fan of gelling every little hair down. It's just not my style. Um, to some people, you're probably looking at this saying, whoa, that's a lot, but once you brush it in, it goes away and it makes your edges so smooth. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can kind of see how smooth it makes my edges. You can take this brush if you want, like a boar's head brush and really get it in there. I just like to follow up on these because my hair is, my baby hairs are very unruly. Okay, okay, so that's pretty much it, but now we're going to take a handy dandy scarf and I'm going to go ahead and fold it till it's like a headband. This is a very important step for every black girl. <laughs> we do not go anywhere without a scarf and we do not tie, we don't do our edges without following up with a scarf. So I'm basically going to move my hair out of the way in the front and I'm just going to tie my hair down while I do my so you can leave this on however long you like the longer you leave it the more slick down it will be I think the most the minimum amount I would say to leave your scarf on your head is about 10 minutes um, but I'll probably leave mine on for about 20, maybe even 30, so I'll just kind of wait until, because you want your edges to kind of dry down flat. The longer you leave it on, the more um, smooth your edges will look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup, and I will be right back to show you guys the end result. Okay, so it's been about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm back. I finished up my uh, lips. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scarf off. Could just leave it on and be like, this scarf just goes so well with my skin tone, so I love this scarf. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap. And as you can see, pretty much done. I don't like to do baby hairs. I'm not a baby hair person. So now I'm just going to go back in and just make sure the shape looks good. All right, so I'm pretty much done. Again, the messier it is, the more it looks like a puff, but you do wanna kind of shape it just a little bit. This is my puff style. It's super easy, super um, beginner friendly if you've never done a puff. So here's my final look of my puff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, it's very beginner friendly and hopefully you guys can try this with your hair. Um, let me know in the comments if you like these videos and you want to see more hair videos like this. Um, just quick, simple, easy videos. But yeah, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Don't forget to thumbs up the video so you can see more from me. And I will be filming also a wedding update here very shortly. So, so I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!